The fascinating thing about art, there's only two things to solve. What to paint, what to draw, and then how to paint and how to draw. These are what I call phone comps. I would do drawings like this constantly while I was on the phone. I have uh, 247,000 of those. And whenever I got in the ditch in terms of logos, I would just go to my phone comps and find the right one. I got a call from Jim Davis. He told me that he bought a new shoe company and he said, I wonder what you think of the name New Balance. So I say, I think you gotta keep that name. It's different and it got a lot of history. And he said, I like that name, and you're the only one that told me to keep it, so you're hired. In the first shoes that we designed, the front had these two vertical tabs. All the shots of the runners were from the front. Jim, let's put something up there that people identify as New Bounce. Here's how the original shoes looked. We had these two bars on here. Now we're talking. Everyone said it looked like hell, though. But they looked pretty good. Eventually, that was removed when we got the N on the side of the shoe. I've kept and cherished that first shoe that Jim sent out to us. These are brand new. These are relatively old. The continuity is there. We worked year after year so you can read the end better. He liked the sense of speed from all those multiple lines. It took maybe 30 years to convince Jim to do five speed marks instead of 12. We took some craziest darn things to Jim, I'll tell you. We definitely said, hey Jim, Get rid of all the other model names. You don't want model names conflicting with building the brand. Everyone wanted a cool name. You want numbers there so that people say New Balance Shoes. It made them more technical. That helped the brand development early on. In 1976, some guy went, come over here. We went over to this car and the trunk was filled with all these pairs of New Balance Shoes. He tried to sell shoes right out of his car. So right then we knew that that was gonna be a great brand. 